All right, good morning. I'm heading out on my walk today. Been at it about 10 minutes. I'm not too far from the train yard this morning. And it is another very cold day out here on this 31st of October Halloween. Halloween morning. I wasn't sure if I was going to be going today. So I woke up with the chills this morning and didn't feel particularly good. But I feel okay now. And I wanted to go on this walk again this morning. I'm going to try to do it at least five or six days a week. Okay, I'm just about to the drain yard. And I can hear the sound of an engine powering up. And Oh, we got a beautiful red sky out here this morning. Look at that beautiful red sky behind me. Isn't that something? I'm wearing a stocking cap today because as I said, I woke up with the chills this morning. And uh, I don't know if I'm coming down with some kind of crud or something. I hope not. Everything will be all right. Beautiful red sky back there. And he came to a stop. Look at that marine layer up there. Beautiful sky. This morning I got here just in time. I'm glad I came over here. Anyway, I hope I'm not going to be getting sick. I need to clog up my ear for when he push, pushes back. It's going to make a big noise, likely. But I hope I'm not getting sick. I, uh, when I do get sick with a cold or flu and get all clogged up and stuffed up. Oh! It wasn't too big of a slam bang. But when I do get that going on, the only medication I take is called Majors. It's a 12-hour deal, and I'll include a screenshot of it here so you can see it. And uh, it really works. It really works for me. So let's head down here. Hopefully there's not a homeless person down here again. And uh, I can't see anybody. We'll walk down here. This was unexpected to find this kind of the five engine locomotive, five engine pushing or pulling this one. So I left those nickels up there. I'm sure they got ran over yesterday. And I brought a couple dimes over. And I know I shouldn't be putting money out, coins out, to be and destroyed. I won't go any higher than a couple of dimes. I just want to see what they're going to look like once they're once they've been run over. So he's coming to a stop again. I think they have switched to a siding off to the right that we can't see down there. I believe that's what he probably just did. We'll switch to that siding there. And there's those tankers over there. I didn't expect to see those parked over there. It's kind of funny that they're using that for storage over there. Oh, we got lots of birds. I don't see Alfred Hitchcock anywhere, so I guess I don't have anything to worry about. There we go, he's starting to push backwards again. So that person yesterday was down in this ditch area. I honestly can't see anybody down there right now. Oh, now he's going, he's going forward again. Powering up pretty good. Make sure somebody isn't down over here. Yeah. Yeah, they were right 
over in there and that's the approximate location where that young woman was found last winter died from exposure <laughs> somewhere in this area boy howdy that sounded like they had some kind of major derail but it was just putting the brakes on I guess didn't quite catch it all but it was pretty loud so they were definitely here yesterday working you can see the tracks and I can just tell the way things look that they were here picking up more ties it's probably going to be another big slam bang here clogging up my one ear and that's the ear towards the train boy the squeaky wheel needs some grease see some train action that wasn't quite prepared for it. The uh, red sky is gone. Well, we have the marine layer of clouds and we do have rain on the way starting tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. So backing up yeah, I'm sure he's went off to a siding that I can't see back there all right he's powering up pretty good Pulling forward of course boy the rumble that comes from those five inches all running together pretty loud well there's just a lot of back and forth back and forth here that's a fairly new box car it looks like it's not all covered with graffiti and once again he's pulling forward See the couplers in action there. They're spring load and then they move quite a bit. Five diesel electric engines. See, this one in the back is a four axle. This one here is a six axle. And this was a six axle. And then the two front are four axles. They're probably done now. So I'm standing here on the main line now. He's backed off into a siding down there where I figured he was moving all those cars to. And I have placed my pennies, my pennies, dimes, right here in the usual spot that I've used in the past to smash pennies. And it's just directly opposite this white post here so nowhere to come and find them tomorrow so let's go over here and look at this siding rail that's not been used for an extremely long time they rolled down here you can't really see any difference it's well, you can kind of see how where the wheel is riding on that part and it's rusty over there and same way with this one you can see the wheel is riding mostly on the inside rather than the outside and that's what they're supposed to do 
believe it or not. I didn't know that until watching some videos on how diesel electric freight trains and other trains work. Alright, looking down there, I can see the engine's back quite a bit farther down at siding. So from that overpass where he's at, the rail, the main part of the rail yard is, the freight train yard is two miles to the north. And up there they have as many as nine or ten sidings that they can use for different things. So, and I don't know quite how all that works. But I'm going to get ready to head back. I'm going to walk up here. Have a little closer look at these two tanker cars. My nose is running like crazy, so when I get out here in the cold, I've got to have a mop. As I walk upon these two tankers sitting here, I'm noticing something I've not seen before. And that is there's a, uh, there's a lock on this. A wedge type thing, and that's simply to keep it from rolling anywhere. I'm sure they got the brakes on it. I don't see brakes back here anywhere. But they'd have to have brakes, but that would, uh, they've got that rolled up on there so they can't, they can't be moved anyway. Get a good close look at how big those wheels are. Oh, I see. It looks like a brake shoe right in there. Perhaps. There's the brakes right there. Okay, while I'm here, we'll just have a quick look at the wheels set up on this, as I mentioned. The inside of the wheels, what rides mostly, it rides on the inside of the track. You can see the lip that they got on them to keep them all together. So, yeah. The wheel's kind of funny shaped. I didn't know that until I watched somebody talking about that on YouTube. So, we'll see how long these tankers are stored here. But that's going to be it for the Freight Train Fun and Games for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching.